how many women out there are looking at their body this very moment and saying, you know, all my life I was an hourglass. Now you look in the mirror and suddenly you're a shot glass. Everything's sort of filled in in the middle. And you say, well, did I do something wrong? I'm over the age of 40 and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Um, what's the magic here? Is there some secret I didn't know so that I wouldn't end up with this extra weight in my belly and I've read all about it and it's not healthy for you? What's really happening? Well, this is a wake-up call to women. That means that for the first time in your life, you're really paying attention to the quality of your body, not just the quantity. Honey, take the scale, pitch it. Look at your body composition. Say to yourself, hmm, how much fat do I have? How much bone? How much muscle? Where is it located? What's going on in this time in my life, especially after the age of 40? When I wrote Fight Fat After 40, I really looked at the whole issue of how the woman's body morphs over her hormonal milestones and especially the interaction with stress hormone, which is called cortisol. So, after the age of 40 especially, we've got a lot of stress going on that is unique to this, to this time in life, in a woman's life. For instance, we've got career changes, we've got kids leaving, a lot of them coming back too. We've got change-ups in relationships, personal, professional, we're moving places geographically, all hex breaking out. We're also caregiving parents and family members, it just goes on and on. So no wonder we have stress hormone out of control. This is one of the elements that contributes to this excessive spread. The other one is change-up in sex hormones. Women don't realize how powerful estrogen especially is in the distribution of fat on her body. Let's look at that for a second. Most women don't understand this body composition issue. So I'll start from the very beginning. In an average little girl as she's growing up, if you look at her body composition, up until she begins her menstrual cycle, her body fat percentage equals her age. That's right, at some point in your life, you had a body fat percentage of 9%. Pretty cool stuff. Now that's assuming you're average weighted. Then, voila, adolescence. Your body fat increases, and it should. You're supposed to have breasts and hips and thighs. Why? Getting ready for procreation. It's just all very primal, very straightforward. So your body fat percentage increases. You can go upwards of 20%, sometimes as high as 25%. These are all ranges. And then you kind of try to hold on to a, a fairly normal range of body fat all the way through until you become pregnant. What is that normal range? It's awfully nice, somewhere between 20 and 25 percent. It works like a charm. Anything below that usually means you're either an athlete or you're genetically predisposed or both. Once you become pregnant, body fat comes up again, but that's obviously normal. And you come back down again, and sometimes we don't always come back exactly <laughs> where the baseline was. So we start accruing some extra body fat over time. But generally speaking, a woman's body prior to perimenopause looks like a, either a pear or an hourglass, depending upon what you've got to offer upstairs. Then the perimenopause hits. One day you wake up and there it was, hourglass to shot glass. Sex hormones are beginning to fluctuate. Estrogen is exquisitely powerful in its ability to be able to maintain that body fat distribution that women are used to, or as it waxes and wanes, you begin to now put more fat around the belly, especially in the pinch and inch area, right? And if you're eating too much and if you're really putting on some weight and you're also stressed, you'll also place some of that fat deep inside the belly, giving you that bowling ball appearance. Interestingly, you don't have to be overweight or obese to redistribute your fat to your belly. So that's why one of the most important lessons I like to teach a woman is always, forget the scale for a second here, 
whip out a tape measure and put that right around your belly button. And you want to make certain that it's well below 35 inches. Once it hits 35 inches or greater, we're in trouble. You're starting to pack on way too much fat in the belly, and I'm, I'm sure that some of that's going deep inside your belly too. And that's dangerous stuff. When you have too much fat deep inside the belly, it's highly associated with heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. So it's really important to pay attention to body composition, quality of your body as you're, as you're moving through, progressing through, perimenopause and menopause.